Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can insert a hyperlink or URL link to a website within a My Media video on Kaltura. So I've loaded up a video you can see here. This is an instructional video showing people how they can get access to a license for GraphPad Prism. And I want to include in this video a URL link to the website, this one here, so that students can just click and go straight there. So I'm going to copy the link. There we are, it's copied. And when I go back to the iMedia, I want to launch the editor in order to add this hyperlink. Once your video has loaded, you want to click on the third box on the left-hand side labelled Hotspots. This allows you to insert hotspots or floating boxes within your video in which you can insert a link to an external website. Once you've selected this option, navigate to the part of the video where you wish to insert the hotspot, and I'm going to choose towards the end of my video so it appears right at the end and I'm going to click on the Add Hotspot button. This will bring up a small box that allows you to enter the text. Click here to go to the website, for instance. And underneath, you can copy in the URL link, which I previously copied from the uh, browser. There is an Advanced Settings option, and the Advanced Settings option allows you to control what appears on the screen. For instance, you can make the text bigger or smaller. You can change the roundness of your box and make it more round or more square. You can change the background color and the position on the screen. You can also select when it appears and when it disappears. You can drag this click box around the screen, but you are not allowed to put it in the bottom one third of your window because this is a protected zone in Kaltura. So I'm going to leave my window right here, make it so I can see all the text, and now I'm happy I can click Done in the Advanced window, and then click on Save to make sure that this video has been saved. If your media contains chapter markers, you can also link your chapters using these hotspots, but I'll show that in a different tutorial. Once you're happy with the way this is set up, and you've made sure that you've saved your video, you can now close the edit window and return to your My Media. I have now loaded the video into my own dashboard and I can play the last few seconds and you'll see that the link will appear on the left hand side of the video. There it is. That allows me to then click on this and it takes me straight to the right website. So that's a really quick way of inserting URLs. You don't have to link to an internal website, you could link to any website you wish students or colleagues to visit. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.